Hey everybody, this is Lillian Watson, Perfectly Posh Independent Consultant, and I'm excited to share with you guys some of my favorite products. Um, as I go through here, um, I'm going to introduce two of them that are kind of new to me. I've started using them this past week, but um, I have used the face wash that goes with it, So, and I've used it for a while, but I wanted to introduce you guys to the matching um, rest of the facial care line. That way you can kind of see it and I'm definitely going to be doing a review on it once I'm done with like a first um, month with it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is our one of the face washes that I've used for like forever and that is our Complexion Perfection. It's um, part of the Pretty line. This is one of my favorite products because it smells like peppermint. Um, I'm a big peppermint dork so this is something I absolutely love as you guys can kind of see. I think I'm on my third bottle of it. Um, Complexion Perfection is absolutely my favorite face wash ever. Ever. Um, but I have tried the BFF as well, which is the best face forward. And I've used this one off and on when I haven't been using um, my Complexion Perfection for about the past year-ish. And recently, like I said, I was introduced to these two. This is the Never Grow Up Anti-Aging Serum. And this is the um, Never Grow Up Anti-Aging Cream, okay? Facial cream. So you start with the Best Face Forward, and then you move into the Anti-Aging Serum and the Facial Moisturizer. So whenever you guys are cleaning your face, you do want to make sure that you're moisturizing. So no matter what facial um, cleanser that you get, always make sure that you get a um, face cream to go with it. This again, this is what the jar size is. In comparison to my hand, you can kind of see it's a nice size jar. And yes, it has been um, sampled. We actually were sampling this the other night at the party and everyone has loved it so far. So, the um, Never Grow Up Facial Line. Alright, so I told you guys I love peppermint. Well, I love the Rubby Scrubby and the soothing stick and not just because they're peppermint. That was actually the original draw to it was that it was peppermint scented and I walk on my feet a lot as a legal aid so having something like this has been great. And I actually used this prior to um, getting my new job or my current job. I've been using this since I was in direct sales prior with another company and because my feet were always aching after events and things like that. So this is something I absolutely love. This is something I added um, about a year ago, I think. And I realized that the soothing stick was absolutely wonderful when paired with the Rubby Scrubby. So don't take forever to learn that lesson like I did. Go ahead and pair them together when you're purchasing. And remember, you're always buy five, get one free anyways. So you're already getting close. You're almost halfway there. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is again in the menthol line. Um, it's not peppermint, but it is menthol. And that's our Soothing Sinus Shower Steamers. Try saying that seven, six times fast. <laughs> so, but these you'll see paired with another, with a little stick next to it, or sometimes it'll be in a little um, tub, smaller, about this size, which you can rub in. But the stick, again, shea butter, you just rub it in. It's got the uh, menthol in it. These, you drop into your shower. They steam and they help kind of clear the sinuses and everything else. I actually used it this afternoon to help with the um, my chest. Uh, what I did first is, of course, I did the shower steamers followed by the stripper to help detox, get everything out that's in here. And then I used the um, the matching lotion to go with it, or the matching soap. Now, I'm already feeling a little better, but I'm still losing my voice. All right, so next up is this Tree Hugger Lip Scrub. Now, I've used the lip scrub in the older tin, not the new tin, but the tin, the tin tin is really cute. I actually kind of like it. Um, but I'm a big tree hugger fan, and I absolutely fell in love with the tree hugger body scrub. So I'm kind of sad to see that one go, but I was still very happy when they came out with the tree hugger. Um, sorry, <laughs> the tree hugger lip scrub uh, before. So I was actually really excited to see that, and it's it is wonderful. It does smell like the same strawberries. It does. Got the little strawberry stuff in it. Let me see if I can get this one open. Yeah, it smells wonderful. And finally, um, I'm going to introduce you guys to something that has has got 
and my husband telling me my hair has definitely changed. And that's our new end mitt. This is our Fix Spritz. <laughs> I'm going to try and remember not to slur that. Fix Spritz. Okay. Now, prior to this, we had the Argon Oil, which was absolutely wonderful, and that has been the only thing I've used on my hair um, since it came out. Like I told you guys in another video, I'm very sensitive with my hair due to the medications that I'm on. Um, so I didn't want to help it along with other products, and the Argon Oil was something that was absolutely perfect for my hair. So when they were going to get rid of it, and I saw that on the closeout line, I was very, very upset until I read the End Men Fix Spritz ingredients. And I found out I'm not actually losing my argon oil. It's just moving into a better product. And this one, since I started using it about a week ago, it's no longer going back in my demo. <laughs> Only because it is my absolute favorite product that I got in my kit outside of my stripper. And this has just changed the way my hair is. Um, it has definitely fixed the ends of my hair. If I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm saying it definitely has helped. My husband has noticed a difference in my hair. Um, co-workers have commented that my hair does look different. Um, it smells amazing. Absolutely wonderful. So this is probably never going to be seen on my demo table again until I buy another one. <laughs> um, but it is something I absolutely fell in love with once I started using it. And of course, as always, I'm going to give the push for the Whip Me Up bath bombs. You guys can see, I've figured out, I figured, better show you guys the size. This is how big one is. Okay, so um, it still is really big. I've used it in the bathtub before, and I sat in there for a good while, and it, it was still fizzing when I got out. So my suggestion would be to cut it in half, either um, along the seam right here. You guys can tell it's got the thing there. You could cut it in half and use it twice, which would give you about 12 baths out of it, or you can use it all at once, um, but be prepared to be in there for a while. <laughs> um, but you can see that it's about the size of right about here. It's not as big as it used to be, so you definitely cannot get the four uses out of one, but I think that's what I love about them now is that you get six of them in the package, and you can get at least six to twelve baths out of it. So, um, and then the amazings are just as wonderful. I have my uh, amazing hand, big fat yummy hand cream at work, and it is never going back on my desk or on my demo table either until I get another one, because that's been taken over by me as well. Probably should have thought about that before <laughs> I took it over, but yes, I absolutely love my big fat yummy hand cream. Um, in the Amazing. And the Amazing, of course, is in the bath bombs as well. Instead of the little purple package, it's the turquoise package. So definitely check out the bath bombs. They're definitely worth your time, especially with the essential oils. And as always, the stripper. Now, we've talked about the stripper last time, and I had a couple questions come across um, via email, so I wanted to go ahead and address those. When you're doing your stripper, make sure that you're not putting it in your hair. First off, it is not a face serial mask. It's actually a body mud. So you want to kind of limit the amount of times that you're using it on your face. So I did demo it on my face last time, but that's because I'm trying not to go kind of low here. Um, but if you are going to use it on your face, kind of stop about here. Um, don't go any closer to your hairline because some people were um, telling me they couldn't get it out of their hair. So keep it kind of forward. You don't want to get it too far back because it does get to dry into your hair and then it is weird to get out. Um, same with your eyebrows. Try and stay away from your eyebrows as much as possible. And again, right along your hairline here. You want to avoid. Now, the best place to use the stripper is actually all over your body. It is a actual body mud. Okay, so when you're using it, you can apply it here, all over your arms. You know, we're still in the middle of summer. Definitely use the stripper when you're coming home from being outside and just feeling icky. The stripper detox is what I would go to. Um, I, for your face, I would definitely suggest um, the New York Minute. It has been, isn't it? Actually, I've really enjoyed the New York Minute. It went to the Opryland Hotel with me the other day, and it was um, my first time trying it, and I absolutely fell in love with New York Minute as a face mask. 
Um, there's also Kale Face, which I've heard some amazing reviews on, and I'm waiting to get in. Um, hopefully this week. <laughs> so, alright you guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday. We're already at 10 minutes, so I'm going to go. Alright, you guys have a great day. Bye.